Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier. I'm here in London. I'm gonna be shooting at the Lightship 93, this amazing, iconic ship. I can't believe I get to shoot here, thanks to Rotolite. Today I'll be shooting with the Rotolite Anova Pro 2 with the uh, Sony a7R 3 and a variety of lenses. We're gonna really test the limits of this light and what it can do. We have completely undiffused light today and we're gonna have to put this together and make some amazing shots. The only thing I'm missing is a creative model. <laughs> I haven't worked with Maddie for a while. Where'd that chick go? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> well, you look beautiful. Thank you. So uh, we're gonna go shoot on the boat. We're gonna go check it out and we're gonna share it with you. Oh my gosh. Do you see this inside? Wow. And the light. Look at the bathtub. Wow. Are you taking a bath, Maddie? No, I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. This looks very, very relaxing. This is amazing. Truly. The other thing I love about this scenario is when Rotolite uh, contacted me about doing the shoot, um, one of the things I asked them to do is said, hey, we have a new light coming out, the Nova Pro 2. Let's, let's actually take it somewhere where it's going to be difficult. And uh, we were hoping that uh, we would get some sun. Well, we got all sun today. So this is the most difficult scenario to shoot in. So I guess the real test is if it'll knock out this shadow. So we'll see. Oh my God. These are gonna be ridiculous. Dude, that's overpowering the sun. Santa Maria, look at that. So guys, I'm shooting with the 35 millimeter 1.4 with the uh, Sony a7R III. Um, settings are 8 thousandths of a second f1.4 ISO 50. So I've even had to go down on my ISO below native range just to be able to not let the environment overexpose her dress. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make this light even better. We're gonna grab the diffuser. There we go, higher. There we go. One, two, three. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. With all of the Rotolite products, just for flash duration, I turn them to 1 50th of a second, which gives me the biggest burst. I just shoot it that way and then move the light forward and backwards just a little bit to get it to the optimal lighting condition that I want. That is by far the easiest way to shoot and most consistent way to shoot. So what I want you to do, Maddie, is stay like that, don't move. That's with, with the light. That's without the light. And let me go in the shade so you guys can see the back of my camera. I want you to see the difference between those two. This is without the light. This is with the light. 200 of a second, ISO 100 F8. Let's go uh, see what's up top, Matt. What we've done here is we've come to the very top, put on the eye of Sauron, AKA the Canon 11 to 24 uh, with the Sigma MC 11 adapter here on the ASIN R3, uh, only because we're on top of this crazy place, very limited space with the film crew. So I wanted to capture more of the environment, get some full body shots of her. Head to the light, don't move. Eyes to the light. We got it. Let's go down. So we're sweating like pigs here in this sauna that is the lighthouse. I came in here and I decided to shoot this one with a 3514. Um, proximity of the light, about four or five feet away. I love light modifiers, but trying to shoot this with a 36, 48 inch modifier, there's just not the space to do it. And you would be completely up lighting at that point. So to be able to pull a light source in here unmodified, get very soft results on it, it's really giving me a lot more options to shoot.
One thing I love to do is actually incorporate things that are in the environment into the shots. If you don't utilize anything here, then she's just standing here, she's not really connected with it, and I want to connect her with this environment. The goal of light isn't to blast this so hard that you, that you completely obliterate all the shadows and the highlights. That's not proper lighting. You're going to overexpose parts of the face with your light, and you don't want to do that. So getting her into more shadowed or even lighting like this is definitely the better way to go. Um, we can either do that by using the Innova Pro itself, putting the light in between her and the sun, and or just having her lean against the side. So we're going to do some shots here, reel them off for you. Wow. That's beautiful. Got it. All right. Now we're going to head down this way. Wow. Just for what it's worth, if you shot this directly bare bulb with a traditional strobe right on the face, it's going to have overpowering light because it's not evenly dispersing the light. That's the whole reason why with traditional strobes, you have to have deflector plates, baffles, outer socks, everything because it's spreading light. The fact that you have hundreds of tiny little lights spread out over the light face of something like the Nova Pro 2 or even the EOS and the, or the Neo 2 is going to inherently make that light softer because it's just already spreading it out. The way that you make light soft is you spread it. This is the reality of being a master of light. Everybody on set is eating ice cream. Watch, pan over to them. <laughs> I'm working. So now we're gonna take this uh, craziness over to the boat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's where the cats go. Anything for a shot, right, Maddie? <laughs> Y'all sure you wanna be a model? We're gonna build this full of props. And the more props and stuff you bring into the set, the more authentic it'll get. I'm gonna blast this with two lights this time, guys. AP2 on one side, AP2 on another. One, two, three. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. One, two, three. Oh, I love that. Let's do some with the water now. Can we get some water in the pill? And you're gonna pour it in the boat. I know it's heavy, honey, I'm hurrying. One, two, three. Wow. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Just so you know, Maddie can't fake if she likes pictures or not. <laughs> no. There are times I hand her a camera, she's like, that's pretty. All right guys, so we brought the action inside here and now it's, it's a pretty dark environment inside of this ship. We're in the library section, super cool area. Right now you're seeing me and you're seeing the benefits of a Neo 2 on the video camera. So I'm gonna have my video guy cut that off. Now you guys can see just how dark it is in here. So in regards to where Maddie's sitting, she's sitting in a dark environment. I can't see the way the shadows are gonna hit her. It's gonna be much more difficult for my camera to find focus. And this is still during the daytime. Imagine if I was trying to shoot this at night. I'm gonna have my man turn on the, um, the LED here on my EOS. And you can see, we're not even changing exposure on the cameras. You can see just how much she's illuminated now. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, all right. We only have one hour left, so we got two more locations to hit indoors. Let's do it. This is really an elaborate setup here. We have a Neo 2 on the, on the ground, illuminating the bottles. We have two Innova Pro 2s inside the bathtub. We have another Innova Pro 2 behind the bathtub with a blue filter on it. We have a Rotolite EOS inside the umbrella modifier 
If I don't use that modifier, it's gonna throw light all over and remove the uh, moody effect of using the other lights and mitigate all of that, and I don't wanna do that. I wanna make something stupendous. One, two, three. So we're really using the whole line of Rotolite products to make a fun shot here. Again, another benefit is the fact that I can see what I'm going to create. It's fundamental to shooting. It makes it a lot more efficient. I'm getting your head centered in that window. Right there, Ch shoulders this way. There we go, perfect. I love that, Maddie. One, two, three. and angle that light feather a little bit more to the other way, the other way, the other way. Right there, one, two, three. Beautiful, I love it. So I shot those at 1 160th of a second, F1.4 ISO 100. So you could do this with the Neo 2. So I may shoot those at 60th of a second, ISO 800, 1000 maybe. If this was a very bright environment, because it's darker in here. If this was very bright, that's where the AOS or the Nova Pro 2s would be more beneficial than the Neo 2s just because they're more powerful. This is an amazing set to be able to shoot with this. And uh, we have one more to go and we have 20 minutes to do it. So let's go. So what we've done now is we've wrapped Maddie in chains she likes that and <laughs> I love that look we're using a big diffuser in front of the AOS to really uh, spread that light more evenly around this composition that's pretty one two three oh that's beautiful So we had an amazing time today shooting in this ship. Uh, a huge thanks to Rotolite. Thank you, brother. Very welcome. This is my man Thank here. You. We, we've got, we're like brothers, man. Of course. We've known each other for a long time, and now that we get to work together, it's amazing. We shot with so many of the products, pretty much all of the new products that you guys have. You know, the Pro 2, the AOS, the Neo 2s. Now, the Nova Pro 2s overpower the sun. It's, the sky's the limit, no joke. Uh, thanks to Darren. You're welcome. For being with us today and helping so much. Uh, thanks to Miss Maddie, of course. Stunning, the styling, not only modeling, but styling. She did an amazing job. Rod, I want to just ask you, I mean, what's it like leading this company that's just booming? It's crazy how much you guys are growing by leaps and bounds. Yeah, I mean, it's been a really exciting year for us. Um, I think the technology has really um, inspired people, and I think our philosophy is really to allow products that allow you to be more creative. So you don't have to worry, is my flash going to fire? Can I compose a shot? Can I get focus? You can focus on the relationship with the model on building the shot. If you guys want to check out these amazing products, go to rotolite.com. If you enter the promo code JasonLinear10, you'll get a discount at the end and, and in a lot of cases free shipping, which is awesome. So Darren, I love you. And Rod, you're my brother. Appreciate it. Maddie, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you. And until next time, guys, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find our kid that works for you and remember, one chance to get, get it right. right. And by the way, I screwed up today and Darren said that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Yeah. Wow. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. Wow. That's old. Don't break it. I don't presume this moves, does it? Whoa. No. Okay. I always love it when video guys film my gut. My gut just happens to be there. <laughs> Again, you want to try it? Oh my gosh. Don't worry, Maddie, it's on dry land. <laughs>